Howdy folks, Friday afternoon. Looks like I'm uh, dinner for one tonight. Hmm, okay, should be cheering. It's always, uh, you know, nice to have a little bit of downtime, especially when the footy's on. But uh, yeah, it doesn't stop a cook up. Got to cook a feed for myself. So I uh, went down to the butcher and uh, picked up a couple of bits and pieces. So um, yeah, let's have a look at those. All right, so I grabbed these uh, beef ribs from Exclusive Meats, North Haramara. Scotty's looked after me there, stoked, looking beautiful. So uh, we're gonna rub these up and uh, I've got the bullet smoker and the charcoal already cranking. So by the time we've done this, the charcoal should be burnt. We'll get the smoker on, get that up to about that <clears throat> 230, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, no more than that. And we're gonna cook these puppies until dinner. Then later on, a couple of cheeky chicken wings. So I've given it a rub with uh, some good old faithful American mustard all over, all around the edges, just to uh, use as a binder for the rub. Uh, you can use olive oil, you can just put the rub straight on, who cares, but uh, yeah, same sort of process to do with the brisket. So finally get to use this. I've been hanging on for a bit of beef to use this on. Sourced low and slow, got it from the legends at Sydney Barbecues and Rotisseries are now stocking the full burnt, uh, the full range. Shadow Blend Spice Rub. Bold, earthy, aromatic, pepper and warm bitters. Whoa. But yeah, it's got an element of coffee in it and uh, hoping that this gives a nice rub to the, uh, the beef ribs. So let's go on and get that on. Okay, the scent of that rub, can I just say, is sensational. Nice and granular. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sourced low and slow. Hook up Sydney, uh, look up Sydney barbecues and rotisseries, and uh, they'll send you the full spread on everything that they've got. Um, but yeah, so far, this is looking awesome. So I'm just gonna let that sit while the charcoal uh, does its thing, get the bullet on, let this climb up to a bit of room temperature, and then we're gonna get it on. Cranking. Ready to go. all on that is insanely hot so we've got that on everything's underway all the vents open all three of them we'll let that climb we'll come back shortly okay just whack some mesquite in the bottom of that i love some hickory but don't have it so mesquite's gonna rip through that beef uh so we're good to go on we're at temp on the pit Let's so we're on we're gonna let that go for about three hours and we'll come back to it and uh Keep an eye on the temperature, and uh, then we'll wrap it and give it a little bit longer. Anyway, catch in a couple of hours. Pour yourself a beer. Mesquite ripping through it. Bring on that flavor. Well, tell her you don't. Okay, that bark's looking pretty incredible. It's been on for just over three hours. Uh, time to take this off and wrap it. Show you that shortly. All right, so I've got three sheets of paper, as you can see, one in the middle, just to um, strengthen it up. Try and capture everything else. Uh, just gonna pour a bit of, a little bit of um, our number seven friend in there. Bit of JD. And a little bit of apple cider vinegar. That's it. Smelling beautiful. We're going to wrap that up and we're going to whack it back in for another three hours. Or at least until it probes like butter, which is hopefully at about 195 Fahrenheit, thereabouts. But uh, it's all about how it probes. Can't wait. And we're back on. All wrapped up. Ready to go. We've hit just over 195, so um, let's just see how this probes. Not too bad. Gonna give it a little bit longer. Another half hour. We're almost there. 
Alrighty, getting my wings ready for the smoker. As it's just me tonight, gonna try out the sourced low and slow split gin blend spiced, spiced rub. The 180 blend spiced rub, which went down a treat the other night. And just gonna do a barbecue rub for myself. But yeah, looking forward to these. Should be good. I'm just gonna do one row of each flavor. Only gotta satisfy myself. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait them on the smoker shortly. Uh, same once I pull the meat off for rest, uh, then we'll get them on the uh, on the existing heat. But yeah, come back to you shortly. Alrighty, all rubbed, both sides. This one's a little bit more herbier, so it's a little bit more uh, of a flavoursome dressing, which we found before. But this one's a little bit more saturating, which is just awesome. Yet to use this one, so I'm really looking forward to it. But as you can see, it coats things a little bit heavier. Um, you know, as you'd expect from a barbecue rub or something like that. But the herb rub, I will say, is just awesome. It really is subtle, but with a little pinch and a little kick wakes you up and realize you're eating a really good piece of meat, all, cur all courtesy of the combination of the meat, spices, and rub. All good to go. All right, so I've whacked the ribs in the esky, wrapped in a towel. They're going to chill for an hour or so. So in the meantime, I've rubbed these, as you saw in the clip before, in sourced long and slow rubs. Different flavor on each. So we're going to let these smoke with the residual heat. And uh, yeah, nice little addition, a cheeky addition to footy night dinner for them. All right, these smoked wings are looking awesome. So uh, we're gonna get these off and then we're gonna unwrap the ribs. It should be just in time for the footy. Smoked wings are off. Look absolutely ew, awesome. And voila. Did it from one lovely smoke ring. Chicken wings looking awesome. Time to go watch the bunnies, kick the panther's ass, catch up with her.